Sometimes it's the finishing touches that really elevate a dish. Stockholm-based award-winning chocolatier Gustav Marbrook is an expert in going the extra mile when it comes to giving chocolate desserts a sense of grandeur. He is well known for creating chocolate sculptures for prestigious events. It smells divine. You can smell the chocolate. <laughs> Definitely smell the chocolate. I want him to share his professional secrets and give me simple ideas I can use at home. So we're going to make an easy, simple decor uh, where we're going to pipe the chocolate in the outline uh, circle right here. So you're making chocolate medallions? Yeah, exactly. This stunning, delicate chocolate shape would work on so many desserts and cakes. So, I'm going to do one. Okay. And then you're going to do one. Oh, right. Fantastic. Right. So, just by piping the outline first. Yeah. And then go in. Oh, wow. Freestyle. Freestyle. <laughs> very simple, very easy. Okay. And for this, to, to add a little bit more crunch to this, yeah. I use some cocoa nibs. Mm. The same cocoa beans and nibs I'm using for actually making my chocolate. Awesome. In, in order to give it a little bit more crisp and the texture and also the balance between the, the bitterness, the acidity and the sweet chocolate. All right, now your turn. Okay, all right, my turn. I, I've got to do it squiggly like you. Do whatever, <laughs> whatever <laughs> pleases you, lady. Egg, oh, oh. <laughs> Nice. Here we go. Should I, should I be a rom romantic and do a heart in the middle? Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful decor. Okay. Very and simple, very easy. Very simple. It's super easy. Yeah. And then just pop some cocoa nibs on top. Cocoa nibs or even, even like, you know, shaved oh, chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just a little bit of leftover on, chocolate. Yeah, they go on the eyeline. Nice. Yeah. It's the kind of thing you put on a chocolate cake. Very it? nice. What got you into chocolate? I, got so fascinated by chocolate. In the beginning for me, it was something that you ate, but when I started working with chocolate, I was so fascinated by it because you can actually mold sculptures into it. You can make beautiful flowers into it. It's one of the foods that are so versatile in, in creating with, you know? I, I don't know any other food that you can build a sculpture and then actually enjoy eating the sculpture. Gustav won International Confectioner of the Year in 2019. His chocolate creations have been used around the world for special occasions and some even for royalty. I think for me chocolate really is something, if you're going to create something grand and you want something for a special occasion, there's no better, you know, ingredient to use. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> when it comes to special occasions, it's all the little details that make the difference. It really is as simple as doing a little chocolate squiggle, sprinkling on some cocoa nibs, and you end up with this amazing chocolate decoration to pop on your desserts. It really makes a meal memorable adds that little bit of chocolate joy. Mm. Next, the perfect chocolate mousse and a delicious tot for when only the best will do. For a real special occasion, nothing can beat a stay at an English country house hotel. But for me, it's not just the five-star elegance that's important. If I'm getting away for a special occasion, the food has to wow too. And that includes chocolate. There's one dish in particular I've just got to find out more about. It's a specially commissioned show-stopping chocolate mousse. Award-winning Italian chef Erika San Giorgi created the signature dish and I can't wait to find out all of her secrets behind this acclaimed dessert. What makes this chocolate mousse so good for a special occasion? First of all, everyone loves chocolate, so what a better way to celebrate if not with chocolate? That little garnish, 
gold leaf, gold powder. Erica makes a mousse using her secret ingredient as a base, creme anglaise, essentially a custard made with milk, cream, eggs and sugar. OK, so our anglaise is ready and as I say, we got the 70% dark chocolate and uh, milk chocolate. Using both the milk and dark chocolate in the mix packs an intense chocolate flavour without being overly sweet. Whipped cream makes the mousse light and airy. There you go. I feel like I'm a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful is that? Silky chocolate mousse. <gasps> OK, here we go. We tap the tray. So you don't get any trapped air bubbles. All right. Next, a ganache to top the mousse. With Erica's second secret ingredient, janduja. So what is janduja? It's chocolate. Yeah. Toasted is not just combined to a buttery chocolate. Imagine you have a chocolate that is actually has the texture of a butter block and it tastes like chocolate and nuts. I mean, what can you want more than I this? Know, you know heaven. I mean? It's the traditional version of the classic chocolate and hazelnut spread. We're going to put everything together. Yeah. This one. Add the dark chocolate, OK. Erica pours the creme anglaise in with the chocolate and janduja. You're getting a bit of chocolate aromatherapy there. That's the best one. Mm. Love it. Next, Erica pours the ganache into a piping bag, removes the mousse from the freezer, pipes the ganache on top, before returning the mousse to the freezer to set. Then Erica dips the mousse in a tempered dark chocolate glaze. Wow, look how shiny that is. I could almost do my lipstick in that. <laughs> Erica uses a delicious vanilla sablé biscuit for the base. Wow, these just look, I mean, already now they look beautiful. Thank you. Just beautiful. Then, some more of the ganache as a simple garnish. And here comes the magic number. It's always three, isn't three it? Three or, or one or five. Yeah. So if you want to decorate things at home, odd numbers work well. Absolutely. As if this mousse couldn't get any more special, gold leaf is added for decoration. We've got the gold, we've got the ganache, we've got the mirror glaze. What more could we want? Chocolate. More chocolate? Yeah. I don't think you could put even more chocolate in this chocolate mousse, but we can. We can. <laughs> right there you have my ultimate chocolate mousse. Oh, wow. It's beautiful how you can see the layers and the different textures, you know, the little bubbles in the mousse. And then you've got the mirror glaze, you've got the biscuit, and then most importantly, your favourite part, I think. Janduja. <laughs> yeah. Janduja. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to have a little taste. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. It's so mm. smooth. It looks show-stopping. It is our ultimate chocolate mousse. I can see why. It's the kind of dessert you just want to sit down and give it that time to enjoy. Perfect for a special occasion.